What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new GTA 5 online video here on the channel. Now quickly before we get started, if you love watching GTA 5 money guides and GTA 5 videos, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications, as opposed to regular GTA content here on the channel. And if we could hit 200 likes on this video, that would be insane, so be sure to smash a like, make sure that thumbs up button turns blue. But in any case, as far as today's video goes, I'm showing you an awesome way to make money in GTA. This is a god mode money glitch in GTA 5 Online. This is 100% solo. Anyone can do this and you're going to bank really good money considering the amount of work you do. And it's very, very easy. You can go from broke to making thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars very, very quickly. Now, once again, before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more GTA content like this, and be sure to leave a like on the video if it does help you. Let's get into this awesome solo GTA 5 money guide. Okay, okay, first things first, you want to be in an invite-only session in GTA 5 Online. And once you're inside an invite-only session in GTA, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to Online, go to Jobs, go down to Play Job, go down to Rockstar Created, and you're going to go down to Missions. Now, once you're inside the Missions tab, you're going to go down to this mission called Checkout Time. Now, if you didn't know, there's double cash and RP money missions at the moment, so make sure you start up this mission called checkout time it's good because it's double cash and rp now once you start up this mission we're going to be doing a glitch inside so be sure to start it up in the invite only session put the difficulty on hard mode so that way now we're getting 3.5 times cash and rp and then just start the job as normal once you put it on hard mode now when you load into the job no matter where you start this job from you'll always spawn in the same spot which is this location here and if you were driving a personal vehicle it will spawn in with you so from here you can get in your personal vehicle if you don't have a personal vehicle just get in any car it doesn't matter but just get in a car once you get in a car you want to turn right and then go straight ahead up the road and you'll notice this red blip on the radar and that is the witness now once you get to the witness what you want to do is just drive pull over in front of the witness's car and then kind of line yourself up and shoot the witness or take out the witness. So as you can see here, what you want to do is just take out the witness, nice and simple, and then you need to bring up your phone and take a photo for evidence. Now once you guys have taken a photo for evidence, what this does is basically you've completed the mission, but you haven't fully completed the mission. So now we're actually going to activate the glitch inside the mission. Now what you need to do from here is get inside the car and you need to lose the cops. But instead of actually losing the cops, you want to keep your wanted level and make your way to this specific location here on the map. So as you can see, it's just up here to the right of the city. And you want to bring yourself up to this specific location on the map. But once again, you want to bring the police with you. So make sure you don't lose your wanted level and go to that location. So what you might want to do is basically just drive a little bit slower. Make sure a police car's always following you. So that's what I was doing. I was stopping, starting, making sure that there was always a cop following me. Because if you lose your wanted level, this glitch won't work. So you need to make sure that you keep your wanted level. Now, as you can see, I made my way to the location, stopping, starting, going a little bit slower, doing whatever I needed to do to make sure there was a policeman following me or a cop. And once I got myself to the location, I could then proceed on with the next step of the glitch. So when you get to the top of this kind of hill section, you want to just park yourself out of the way. Make sure you don't park in like the middle of the road. Park yourself out of the way, climb up this ladder, try not to get shot, obviously, Climb up this ladder and then take cover. Now, if you do die, then you have failed the glitch and you won't be able to do the glitch. So make sure you do not die when climbing up the ladder. Now, once you're here, you want to lose your wanted level. So just call up Lester to lose your wanted level. You can do it whilst you're still in the car if you want. But once you've lost your wanted level, you need to make yourself to this location. Jump over this railing, jump down and then turn around walk the other way and now you can walk yourself into a god mode glitch and now you're in god mode now you're in a completely glitched out spot in gta 5 online and now what you want to do is just start shooting at the cop cars so you get another wanted level 
and this is why you needed to maintain the police following up to this location because now you've got an extra want to level which gives you extra RP so now we can continue on with the glitch. Now once you're inside this glitched out spot remember you should still have one life left. If you died before then unfortunately you need to restart this again because the only way to get out of this glitch spot is by killing yourself and if you kill yourself or you got zero lives you will fail the mission. Now at this point, what you want to do is just keep shooting cops until you get a 5 star wanted level. So as you can see, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm legit just going back and forth, shooting cops until I get a 5 star wanted level. And then when you get a 5 star wanted level, what you want to do is just fire a bullet every now and then to maintain your wanted level. And what you want to do is you want to do this for about 10 minutes. So do this for about 10 minutes. Once you get the 5 star wanted level, that's when you can do this for about 5 minutes. So do it for about 5 minutes after you've got the 5 star wanted level. Now I suggest using guns like a pistol or just guns that don't cost a lot of ammo to use. So that's why I suggest using just, you know, guns or weapons that don't cost a lot of money in ammo. Because the more money you use, obviously, it defeats the purpose of the glitch. So just use a pistol here and there if you like. Now once you've waited out the 5 minutes with the 5 star wanted level, what you want to do is just stand still, wait around and you will lose your wanted level automatically. Now once you guys have lost your wanted level by literally standing still and doing nothing, because that puts you out of sight of cops, what you can then do is shoot yourself um, you know, with a grenade or a bomb or something like that. And then that way you'll respawn outside of the glitch and now what you can do is literally complete the mission. So now you can go over to Madrazo's house, deliver the evidence, and you would have completed the mission and you would have got a lot more money than usual. So the glitches we've totally activated so far is essentially we got a ton more RP for shooting all the cops and losing a 5 star wanted level. You get a massive bonus RP for that, so you've already made a few thousand in RP. Not only have you done that, you've also ramped up the mission time to over 15 minutes. Because by going over the 15 minute mark, you're going to get way, way more money than what you usually would for completing one of these missions. And you also did yourself a god mode glitch, so you had some fun shooting some cops where you cannot die. Because you cannot die in the god mode. Now, in any case, once you guys have delivered the evidence, what will happen is Martin will come out and be like, Good job, man," or something. I don't know what he says. But in any case, it will say, Mission Pass. And as you guys will see, you'll get over $40,000. 15 job points, and it just alone from the job you get 6,300 RP, but then you also get all that bonus RP from before for losing the 5 star wanted level. Now this glitch is quite insane considering the amount of work you do it once again. All you've done is literally had some fun in a god mode spot, because when you're inside that god mode glitch, you cannot die. So you're legit just shooting cops and you are invincible to the cops. You can also go into that spot during a normal free mode session if you want to troll your friends and stuff. So feel free to use that glitched out spot. But in this case, for the mission we used it, we got a ton of extra RP and we got a ton of extra money in the money mission than what we usually would because we ramped up the game time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it to show some support. And also, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications with, you know, for more GTA 5 money glitches and GTA money guides. I post regular GTA content here on the channel. You guys are not going to want to miss out, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I really hope you did enjoy this glitch. Once again, thanks to Sky PS4 Gamer for showing us this in the first place. He's a good mate of mine. He gave me permission to do the glitch myself, so... Thanks to him. But in any case, once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Sam Cram. You guys are the Cram Squad. Till next time, I'll see you in the next one.